We sometimes have a hard time holding women accountable and sending them to the penitentiary. And I think it's because we don't like to think that women do this sort of thing. But they can and they do. And this young woman did. Why are you shooting? I don't know. You just do. I don't know. Are you still afraid? Yes. There's smoke in the house. And I still can't hear well. But then I see police at the house. Try to ask them what to do. Do I put down the gun? Do you know whether Jonathan's been killed or not at that point? No. Do you know whether he's even been hit a couple of times with the gun? With the bullets, do you know? No. Why did you shoot the gun? There was a struggle again, and I was afraid. It was start all over again. So that's why they shot. Did you want this result to happen? No. Did you want to kill this young man? Of course not. Please take the verdict. Before a person please rise. Members of the jury, have you agreed upon a verdict? If so, let your court person state the verdict of the jury. Please read the verdict for them. State of Michigan and the Circuit Court for the County of Oakland, people of the State of Michigan, Plaintiff versus Sandra Maxine Lane, CR number 2012-241986-FC, Honorable Denise Langsford Morris. <coughs> Count one, first degree murder. Guilty of the lesser offense, second degree murder. Count two, possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony. Guilty of possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony. Great, clerk, please continue taking the verdict. Will the jurors please rise and raise your right hand. Members of the jury, listen to your verdict as recorded. You do say upon your oath as jurors, in this case, that you find the defendant as to count one, first degree murder, guilty of the lesser offense, second degree murder, and as to count two, possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony, guilty of possession of a firearm in the commission of a felony. In the manner informed as the people and their information, in this case, in charge. So you say, poor person, so you say all members of the jury. If so, say I do. Please be seated. There was no self-defense. She went up there with a gun. She went up there to confront him. She went up there to prevent him from leaving. It's clear murder, and that's what the jury found. We can't do anything that she hasn't already done to herself, really, because she punishes herself every day. The legal system did what the legal system does. The jury felt that it wasn't appropriate self-defense. They felt it was, obviously it wasn't premeditated because they found her guilty of second-degree murder. Pretty torn. It's really hard to comprehend that, that your own mother could do something like this to your own child. And uh, I just know that my son is in heaven, and that's a place that she'll never see. She was always a thorn in my side, to be very honest. She was very difficult, um, uh, very meddlesome, very controlling, and uh, I never liked her. 